Okay, some uh, social media questions. At Kane Zioli on Twitter, what Marvel character do you most relate to? Iron Man, because he's so handsome and glamorous, and obviously you'd have to relate to he's him. He's an extension of you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and Carl, very wealthy. <laughs> Carl Monroe on Facebook. I think Marvel has done a lot recently with gay comic book heroes. Do you approve of that? I didn't even know they were doing anything with gay comic book heroes. That's what it says. Well, I agree if it's working well, but I, I was unaware of it. A Ragone 88 on Larry King Now blog. Where do you see the future of comic books heading? Oh, I think comic books are going to be around forever. As I say, they're a good way to read a story. It used to be we had uh, writers who were just guys who liked comics and they would write them because a really great writer who could sell a novel or things like that, they didn't waste time with comics. But now, because there's money in comics, some of the best writers in the world are writing comics because they know if they write a good one, it could be a movie, it could be anything. And so the quality of writing has improved tremendously. And um, I, I think comics will be with us good forever. Point. Amon Comics on the Larry King Now blog. Nowadays, is it okay for someone to create a superhero that's a different nationality than themselves? Yeah, from, I guess. From whomself? Any self. I guess you can create a superhero that's from different anywhere. from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We have a Chinese superhero we're working on. We have a Latino superhero we're working on. A Latino, on. Have, good idea. We have one. We have an Indian. Oh, Do we yeah, have absolutely. black superheroes? We have yeah. black superheroes. I created the Black Panther at Marvel, and there'll be a Black Panther movie pretty soon. Lisa Lamborn on Facebook. What gave him his biggest paycheck, and what did he splurge on? What, of all you've done, did you make the most money? Believe it or not, the biggest single paycheck I ever got was from a, um, a convention that I went to where they paid me to come to the convention and they paid me an indecent amount of money to be there. That was your biggest paycheck? That was the biggest single paycheck, yes. And what did you splurge on? What, what? What did you splurge on? What did you spend big money on? Oh, I put it in the bank so that my <laughs> wife could spend it. Uh, Shiloh Price. <laughs> Which character would you consider your most underappreciated? Dr. Doom, the villain. Dr. The th Doom. The, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he's the king of his own country, and what he wants to do is rule the world. And my feeling is, what's wrong with that? It's not a crime. You could walk up to a cop and you could say, Officer, I want to rule the world. He can't arrest you. It's a legitimate desire. <laughs> so uh, Dr. Doom is very unappreciated to me. <laughs> uh, Fares kiss him on Facebook. If immortality were to exist, would you choose it or would you become a superhero or a supervillain? If immortality existed, would I choose to be immortal yeah. or would I rather be a superhero yeah. or a supervillain? Well, of course, I'd rather be a superhero than a supervillain. I don't think I'd want to be immortal unless Why not? unless it went for everybody. I wouldn't want to be alive while all my friends and relatives were dying. But if everybody could be immortal, I think that could be fun. But you'd meet new people. <laughs> you'd meet new people. Well, that's true. But no, no. I, I like the people that I know and I want to have them around. Are you afraid of dying? No. Not at all. Do you think you go somewhere? Uh, no. The one thing I can't understand, I can't grasp my mind around, I feel when you die, there's just nothing. It's like when you're asleep and you're not dreaming. But I can't imagine nothingness lasting forever. That's what That's I, the thing that I cannot get. I can't grasp. To not exist yeah. forever. Forever. When does forever end? Yeah. The next time we do an interview, I have a funny thing to tell you about forever, but there may not be time. It's something I read in a book once. Is it so quick? So interview me again. Is it quick? Well, maybe I could make it. Go ahead. There was a historian named Hendrik Wilhelm van Loon, and he wrote a book about mankind. And he wrote a little preface, a little paragraph in the front. I never forgot it. He said, there's a, a big rock in the ocean. It's huge. It's 20 stories high. And once every thousand years, a little hummingbird comes and sharpens its beak against that rock. When the hummingbird will have worn away the whole rock, one second of eternity will have passed. 
I never forgot that. I read that when I was about 12 years old. It stayed with me all the time.